It's the most entertaining, longest reigning YouTube channel in different tier history with your host. The man that runs the show, the man that everybody knows. The man that's right here in the flesh, the man who is the very best. Turn up your sound, he's about to go down right here, right now. It's champion. What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. Uh, during my last video, I gave away seven rip souls. This was actually the first time I stated in the comments the first time that I was able to find everybody's name on a DF profiler. So that was pretty awesome. A lot less work for me. And you guys are actually getting your names out there that I don't have to uh, tell you guys in the comments. PM Mr. Dalfio or PM Champion if you want to claim your prize. So that's good that I was able to find out or figure out everybody's name. And during my last video, I went over a little bit about Different Tier 2. Zaylith got back to me in a support ticket. And then after that, I did a mission on Baby Champion. I plan on doing the same thing today. I actually asked uh, Zaylith more questions regarding Different Tier 2. I feel like, like right now, I just want to make a lot more videos regarding Different Tier 2. Because that's the main uh, game that's coming out. It's really no longer about Different Tier 1 anymore. I guess I'll call it Different Tier 1, but it's no longer about Different Tier 1 anymore. And I just want to see if I can gain as much information as possible regarding Different Tier 2. And I need your help. So, uh, during this video, I would like for you guys to drop down any questions you have regarding Different Tier 2. And if I think the question is good enough, I'll bring it up to Zaylith. And Zaylith will give me an answer to your question. And I'll be sharing it live during my next video that way we all can gain information because it's like you know i don't want to come up with all these questions by myself and zaylet is really just a nice guy to talk to he really gives me great answers and the fact that i'm able to reach out to him and he gets back to me because he's been getting it, uh been getting back to me really quickly so the fact that he i'm able to get in touch with them so easily regarding different tier two it makes me want to see if I can learn more and more about different here too so I can share that knowledge with you guys and we can all just discuss about it and see if we like it, see if we hate it, uh, see what we can do to gain an advantage because the more information we gain regarding different here too, the more prepared we will be when the game comes out, the more of an idea we will have or more of a strategy we will have when we first create our character and you know, just go where we want to go from there. Anyways, I'm going to pull up my support ticket again. I'm going to show you guys the questions that I asked Zaylith. I asked him um, if there would be a PvP, such as the arena or PvP out in the inner city. Well, there really can't because there's four people. So I'm guessing PvP will be purely in the arena if I had to take a guess. And I said, will there be records, rewards to people who come in first place? Most EXP game, PvP points, etc. Such as, you know, first place in weekly TS, TBK, winning X Dutch. Will there be any, like, you know, rewards given out to people who grind the most, get the most PvP points? And, yeah. And number three, will there be professions? Will the professions be the same as DF1? Such as soldier, doctor, lawyer, priest, etc. I think. This was a really good question because I just want to know, like I'm interested in knowing, are they actually going to have us start out with the same professions or are we going to have to, you know, have new professions that actually allow us to do, or should I say, give us different abilities such as, you know, priest gives you more EXP, soldier gives you more stat build. I'm just wondering if they're going to like expand it more and give us more benefits for picking a certain profession. And I said, what aspect of DF2 do you feel as the DF community should we be most excited about? And I said, thanks again for all your replies. So he got back to me. Let me actually make this bigger. I made it bigger last time. I forgot to do it this time. There we go. I enlarged it for you guys. That way you guys can see it. I'll do it one more time. There. All right. So that's nice and big. So you guys can now read it better. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to read his Zaylet's reply. He said, there will be PvP, though I don't think there will be dedicated arena on launch. And my prediction is they're not going to be too focused on the arena. They're just going to uh, put their sole focus on the inner city. 
which to me I think is a great idea. Like honestly, I prefer there not be arena when the game comes out because I know if Zaylith and Neo actually put their pure focus on the inner city, it's just gonna be much better than what we expected to be. If they actually put their focus into the arena and the inner city, it's like that time that they're putting in the inner city, I mean, in the arena, could be time that they can put in the inner city to make it even better. So, I mean, inner city is just more of a popular place than the arena. And the arena is just like, it's not really the main asset of Death Frontier 1 currently. To me, I feel the inner city is playing the game, uh, grinding, killing bosses, looting. That to me is like the most popular thing that everybody, Death Frontier as a whole, enjoys doing. So the fact that we're not going to have an arena right away is going to be a good thing in my opinion. Because I don't think we're going to have an arena right away. He said I don't think there will be a dedicated arena on launch. So my guess is they're either going to make a pre-make arena. Such as like a basic arena that takes like, <clears throat> that takes like two seconds to make. And then maybe make it better as time goes by. Or... They might just not have the arena and just launch the arena once they get settled with the inner city and other stuff regarding Death Frontier 2. And question number two, which is the rewards for getting first place and whatnot. He said yes, there will definitely be records. He never mentioned anything about the rewards, so I'm not sure if we're going to have rewards or not. But my guess is, I'm just going to assume that there's going to be records on the all-time list. Just so people can, I guess, get their name out there. I guess that's pretty much what it is. Just basically, uh, you know, seeing that, for example, say, let's see, let's say when Death Frontier 2 comes out, I uh, have the most EXP grinded. It's like a thing to, like, uh, I don't know, just something to, like, honor me for, to uh, a congratulations to get my, like I said, make my name stand out for achieving something in DF2 but my opinion like I said I don't think we'll have a reward system right away I think in the future there will be because if you have if you have a reward system that would technically be you know pay to win because those that actually actually I want to say pay to win I mean if everyone's going to have a fair chance of getting the rewards like for example like right now in DF1 people have raid cannons vengeance guards long shots and most of those people had to uh, spend real life money to get those items. Therefore, they have a huge advantage when it comes to uh, running for TBK, running for TS. So the fact that we're not going to be able to buy credits to use for weapons and armor in Death Frontier 2, that's going to make it fair game when it comes to getting first place in uh, most EXP gained without dying or... Uh, most PvP points in one week. So I would say the reward system, if there is a reward system or uh, records and whatnot weekly or all time, it would just be more fair and more honorable when people achieve it. And question three, with the professions that I asked, will, there, will they be the same? He said, I'm not entirely sure. I know Neo is completely redesigning the skill system. But it's still a work in progress and I don't know all the details. I suspect the names of the professions will remain very similar. But the way they work could be very different. So what I got out of this. I'm just going to assume or think that the professions. I feel like like he kind of like gave me the answer that I was expecting. I feel like we're going to have different names for the professions. But at the same time they're going to do similar things. As what the professions do currently in Death Frontier 1. For example, like we have Soldier. He could rename the Soldier to, I don't know, uh, Marine or uh, Doctor could be renamed to, I, I don't know. You guys get the point. Lawyer. Uh, I'm trying to think of another word for lawyer and stuff. It could, you guys get the point I'm trying to make. He's basically going to like. Uh, change the name slightly into something similar than the current name of Death Frontier 1. And he's going to have similar skill sets uh, that we have in Death Frontier 1 currently. But I know for a fact that he's not going to have the same professions. I just know that he's going to do it different this time. He wants to change the whole landscape of Death Frontier 
completely. And he's not going to do that completely if he's going to have the same professions as Death Frontier 1. Alright, so question 4. I said, what aspect of DF2 do we feel as the DF community should be most excited about? And once again, he gave me the answer that I was expecting for, which is that's very really hard to answer. He's not very really sure what he's most looking forward to. To sum up this big paragraph that he pn I mean, that he messaged me about, he basically just said that he's looking forward to everything. He's really excited for the whole thing. And he is... Um... Just the fact that he'll be able to update and add new features regularly this time around. We'll have the real opportunity to keep improving and implement feedback from the community. So the fact that there's going to be a new server, um, they'll be able to basically add stuff in DF2 that they won't be, that they can't add in DF1. That to me, I feel like it's going to be the most thing. I mean, the thing that they're going to be most excited about. The fact that they're able to do updates in Death Frontier that they weren't able to do in DF1. And just the fact that they can be creative with it. They can uh, basically just expand their creativity and make the game into its maximum potential. Because Death Frontier 1, like I said, we couldn't hit the maximum p potential in Death Frontier 1. Because Neo and Zaylet, they weren't able to, Neo and Ian, I should say, weren't able to update Death Frontier 1 the way they wanted to be, the way they wanted the game to be updated. That's why we have Death Frontier 2. So the fact that they are now able to have these really big updates that we suggested actually happen in Death Frontier 2 is going to be personally the thing that I feel everybody should be really excited about. So... Those are all my questions I asked Zaylet. I replied to him again, telling him I'm going to be sure to hit you up with more questions. I just want to get back to you guys, a.k.a. my subscribers, and have you guys actually hit me up with some questions that you guys want to ask Zaylet. And I'll pick like the three or five, three to five best questions, uh, depending on how long or how short those questions are in terms of his reply. Like if you give me like a question like, Oh, um, name me all of a certain something that's going to happen in the inner city. Like, name me, I don't know. You guys get the point. Like, for, like, a uh, question, I'm trying to screw up real quick. Basically, number two. Like, said when I said for the four-player multiplayer, and I asked, like, three different questions in one. Like, if you guys give me, like, something like that, I'll probably ask them, like, three questions. But if they're, like, little questions such as where the profession's going to be in DF2, then I'll probably make it into five. Like I said, just depending on how long or short the questions you guys give me. Anyways, that sums up all of this. And my thoughts on Death Frontier 2, you guys already know. I'm really excited for it. And I just want to keep discussing Death Frontier 2 every time I make a video. Because I know that's what you guys want. That's what I want. And Death Frontier 2, I mean, it's the real deal right now. And I just want to make sure that I gain as much information as possible. Or something about I, that we gain as much information as possible. I mean, we're all in this together. And I just want to help you guys out. And I want you guys to help me out as well by providing me the questions that I should be asking Zaylith. Because I could be missing something that's a really good question. And that's why I have you guys to help me out. So I'm going to exit this out, and I'm going to do a mission on Baby Champion. It's actually a really easy mission. It's called Itchy Scratch. Yeah, I actually did this mission before. This was the mission that it took me like 15 to 20 minutes to find the person. His name is Dr. Adler, and to be fair, I mean, that mission, like, all the missions where you have to find somebody, that mission is, like, the hardest mission when it comes to finding the specific person that you have to look for. I mean, he was like underneath a tree, right in the middle of the map. Well, not in the middle of the map, but to like the middle left side. But the bright side of all of this is I can actually go back into that video, which is what I'm going to do once I, um, before I head out on the inner city. I'm going to go back to the video and 
uh, see if I can get the location of where he was at that way I can just go to that same spot so this mission is actually going to take me like two to five minutes to do if I had to take a guess because I do remember when I talked to Dr. Uh, Adler it took me like really quick to talk to him there's no aggro no uh I was going to say no nothing coming at me but that doesn't even make sense but there was a leaper that actually almost killed me <laughs> If you guys remember, so I mean, it was pretty funny, and uh, well, not funny to get lead, but it was funny that you know, for you guys, the viewers, to actually see a leaper come on, come up underneath a tree to actually take a swing at me and almost kill me while I was uh, pretending to type out in the inner city. But anyways, I'm going to dive into this mission, and yeah, let's do it. Alright, so I went back into my video, and I wish I would have actually mapped up when I actually found Dr. Adler, but I didn't. I actually do have an idea where he's at, though. He's probably, like, I think he's one off from the area I'm currently in right now. But before I actually do the mission, I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of Baby Champ. So, Baby Champion right now, I'm halfway to level 35. I have 9.1k cash in the bank, so I have more cash in the bank now since I did that um, last mission. I'm trying to remember the last mission I did on Baby Champion. It was like loot 10, 10 of something. But I had to loot, uh, it was one of those looting missions where I had to loot 10 of a certain something. And it was just easy because I didn't have to waste my ammo that much. So I was able to loot everything I needed to loot. And I was able to complete the mission really quickly, gain some nice easy EXP along with some cash in my bank. And I actually didn't even have to spend money on ammo when I came out in the inner city. I mean, I shot a little bit of ammo before, like, I mean, when I was walking up to the Itchy Scratchy mission, the mission that I'm doing right now. So I'm going to pop this back up, exit the DF profiler. So I'm going to just go one up, see if I can get this uh, mission completed. And then once I do that, I'll probably, well, I will be uploading this video straight to YouTube. And I'll probably, like, see if I can have time to read the comments from my previous video. I know you guys asked some questions and whatnot. Couple questions, man. Y'all really want to see uh, a face reveal of me. I said that, you know, once we hit 5,000 subs, I will do it. I just said I will, but I'll consider it. I mean, I'll see... For sure, I'll do. I mean, I do owe you guys at least that. You guys have supported me for so long and helped me get my YouTube channel to where it is right now. And I'm just really so grateful. And, you know, if me doing that will make you guys all happy and make you guys want to watch my channel even more than I'm willing to do so. So I'm already at the mission area. I found this guy quickly, just like I predicted. The aggro seems a little bit more crazier than usual, actually. I mean, I didn't have this much aggro. I, mean, I know for a fact that they have this much aggro. Like, I was literally, like, standing still and talking to them. That's why I started typing. I almost got leaped. I was just, like, trying to show you guys, oh, man, this mission is so easy. I can actually type and talk to this guy at the same time. But right now, it doesn't look like I can do that. I am shooting my FMA trail, which doesn't even help the situation, but I'm trying to see if I can clear this aggro. I don't really see it respawning. And it's not like I'm going to gain 100 EXP, 100k EXP for the mission bonus. So if, maybe if I shoot a little bit more EXP, I can actually grind a level up. I'm hoping I do. Yeah, he's easy to talk to. I'm about to complete this mission. My guess is I'm going to be at like 90 something EXP and during my next video with Baby Champion I should, well, I'm not going to say I should, for sure I'll level up. And I completed the mission. So this mission is really easy to do. I'm actually going to map up this time, show you guys the location of where I'm at. That way for those that are actually trying to complete this mission just like me, just like I did right now, you guys will actually know exactly where Dr. Adler is at. So he's at the top left block. So right here, and he's just like on the left side. You won't miss him. And you guys can even watch this video to see me literally like walk up to Dr. Adler and start talking to him. So there you have it. 
this concludes the video. This is actually a quick, easy, uh, nice video. But before I end the video, I do have to tell you guys a certain number that you guys have to type um, for the giveaway. I'm trying to think what I actually want to give away. Um, I don't know. I'll make the giveaway random this time. It won't be like seven rip souls. I'll try and look at your characters. For the people that actually win the giveaway, like for example, let's say one of you guys win, I'll look into your profile and I'll see like what... Um, what your character is building and actually try to give you like a weapon like for example if you're trying to like build pistol skill and you have like a hundred pistol skill I'll actually uh, send you a 475 Magnum I'll see if I can do that I'm sure you guys will actually be more happier if I do it that way that way I give you guys what you need and not something that you guys don't really have any uh, use for so I'll see if I can do that. But anyways, the number that you have to type is the number. Uh, I'll go with number four. So one out from number three, like my last video. So if you type the number four along with your username, you'll be able to qualify or have a chance to win uh, a weapon of mine choosing. And I know I said this during the end of the video. So you guys are actually going to... Uh, figure out that you guys have to type the number four much easier because it's not like in the middle in the middle of my video where you guys actually have to like skip and uh throughout the video to actually figure out the number it's at the end of the video so you guys know what the number is and i was going to say one more thing and i forgot what it was oh i remember um during my last video like it took me like three to four days to send out the rip sauce the reason why i did that is i want to give everybody the opportunity to comment during my video which is why I stopped doing the first seven people win a rip saw or a 475 Magnum because it was just like the first seven people that commented on my video I want to give everyone a chance to be able to have the opportunity to win uh, one of my uh, giveaways that I have uh, during every single one of my videos well most of my videos some videos I actually skip it it depends but if I have like a big giveaway, then I usually like to skip a giveaway during my next video. That way I can focus on sending out the prizes for my previous giveaway. But you guys get the point. I'm just babbling right now. But remember, hit me up with your questions regarding Death Frontier 2 so I can uh, hit up Zaylith if I actually think the question is good. Don't give me any silly questions like, oh, Zaylith, are you going to, uh, I don't know. Just so you guys know what a silly question is. I only have to give you guys an example. So, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for the love, everybody. We're at like 4.8k subs. So, we keep growing uh, every single day, uh, every single hour, every single minute, every single second. So, who knows? Maybe we can get 5,000 subs sooner than later. And maybe you guys can actually see what the champion looks like. So, <laughs> there you have it, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.